I went to Greenland and witnessed firsthand just how fast climate change is melting the world's ice. This is my debrief. So we learned a lot last year on our The World is Sinking, uh, which was sort of putting our toes uh, in the water, so to speak. And we realized after talking to a lot of scientists that Greenland is sort of the case study of what's happening because it's melting so rapidly. And we, you can see as it melts, you know, the sea level rises. You know, it's a very complex problem, but in Greenland it's sort of simplified because you just see it melting. It's melting and, and you know, as there's more water, you know, it rises. The reason why we did this story is I believe it's one of the most important issues facing humanity today. If you talk to scientists, you know, sea level rise is our number one fear, that it's going to keep rising, and if it keeps rising, humanity has to retreat. This is a, a massive, massive, massive problem, and we'll probably do uh, a sea level rise story uh, in every season, uh, because it is so important, and it is so underreported. What scientists do is they give you a range because it's hard to pinpoint exactly what's going to happen. So, you know, if, if emissions go down or if something happens climactically, it'll be here. If emissions go up, it's here. So there's that range. Now, the range is pretty broad. And so when you get to worst case scenario, it's pretty bad. Now, overstepping them by 60 years is staggering. So the answer to the question, the simple answer is, it is spiraling out of control. It's spiraling at such a fast rate. The question isn't anymore, will it, will sea level rise? Yes, the answer is yes. It's how fast. When we talk to the scientists, it's not like, oh, okay, if we cut our emissions by 80%, will it continue? It's going to continue. It's going to continue for the next 100, 200, 300, 500 years. We've set ourselves on a path that it has to continue for 500 years. However, how fast, that's the only question. And if it goes as fast as, as some scientists are saying, then we're in real trouble. It's definitely humbling. You see these ice cliffs uh, on the screen, and it doesn't do them justice. You know, they're hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, in some cases, thousands of feet high. And then whole Empire State buildings are just falling off continually. Greenland itself is incredibly humbling. Everything's on such a massive scale, and humans haven't been there. You feel like such a, a tiny dot. And when you talk about the numbers, billions of tons of ice, you know, the, you know the sea level rise, the whole sea, like the, the global oceans rising, it's just staggering. And, and it really makes you think, you know, like we're, we're A, you know, tiny little, little dots, but we're definitely having a huge impact because all these tiny little dots all over the world are getting together and destroying the environment. The interesting thing about Greenland is they know it's climate change because they see it. They're growing strawberries in Greenland. It's sort of a double-edged sword. The ice has retreated so they can do mining, oil exploration, they can do farming for the first time. So for Greenland, it's a bit of a, a, a boon to the economy. Um, but they realize at the same time that it's detrimental to everybody else and it's only beneficial to them for a short period of time. They can see the, the effects of, of, of the climate change in real time and so they're, they're, they're well aware of it. 